Um, I think it's difficult. You know, Chicago struggles with having enough people trained and available. Um, also, just making sure calls are identified and given to, to CIT officers as opposed to non-trained officers. And there's not necessarily enough CIT trained officers in all of the districts, and sometimes the system falls down in terms of actually getting them dispatched to the right calls. But I think there's also a history, too, of people remember the bad things that happen and to build that trust again that calling the police could be a useful intervention is going to take a long time. Chicago's neighborhoods are pretty segregated, so policing is different. Mental health services are different too. There's some huge mental health service deserts on the west and the south side. You know, when we're riding along with CIT officers, just talking to them, um, they think about calls a little bit differently because their options are different. So they may be called and then, you know, they have nowhere to refer someone to that they're not taking to the hospital. Or they know that if they take the person to that hospital, they'll be out in two hours with really no effective linkage. In some of the districts that are in the more disadvantaged neighborhoods, which typically tend to also be um, African American, people are walking into the district headquarters to ask for mental health services. <coughs> Yeah. So I need some help, whereas when we're in other parts of the city where there's more providers, people walk into the providers for services, the police get called sometimes to the providers when there's a safety issue or, or some difficulties. But in the areas where there's no services, th they're seeing that too.